okay uh, the next polymer is nylon it is a polyamide and polyamide polymers are those polymers which contain multiple amide bond or amide linkage this is known as the amide linkage one this is CO group carbon group and this is NH group and this linkage or this bond is known as amide bond or amide linkage okay this nylon is a condensation polymer and therefore it can be prepared by condensation polymerization in uh, nylons we have to study nylon 6 and nylon 6.6 .6. okay now nylon 6 first I will study uh, the monomer for this is caprolactam and aapko pehli class mein bataya tha hai. and why this 6 is here written this is because if you see this monomer it contains 6 carbon count from here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 since the monomer, monomer of this nylon it contains 6 carbon that's why it is known as nylon 6 okay this is the method of the preparation of this nylon 6 polymer if you heat n number of this caprolactam molecule in presence of nitrogen gas under inert that means under inert atmosphere you will get your nylon 6 polymer okay on heating this amide linkage breaks and this ring open up to form a linear polymer okay you can see here it can be written in this form here this is a amide bond or you can say amide linkage second polymer is nylon 6.6 .6. and the monomer for nylon 6.6 .6 are adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine now since there is two monomer so it is a copolymer okay you know homopolymer and compolymer nylon 6 is homopolymer because it has only one monomer that is caprolactam nylon 6.6 .6 is copolymer because it has two monomers adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine this is the structure of adipic acid it contains 4 CH2 group and two carboxylic groups one is here other one is here <coughs> this is your hexamethylene diamine now why the 6.6 .6? because if we count in the adipic acid you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 carbon and if you count see hexamethylene diamine again you have 6 carbon so that's why 6.6 .6 nylon now if you react this adipic acid and molecules of adipic acid is rejected with n molecules of hexamethylene diamine in presence of ac like hcl you will obtain a nylon 6.6 .6 polymer with the elimination of water molecule since water is eliminating it's an example of condensation polymerization okay <clears throat> the next properties of nylon if you see the properties of nylon they are quite is high melting point polymers they possess high temperature stability and high abrasion resistance they are insoluble in common organic solvents such as they are insoluble in common organic solvents such as benzene acetone but they are soluble in phenols and formic acids the use of uh, nylon is they are mainly used for molding purposes a nylon 6.6 .6 is mainly used for the fibers which find use in making socks dresses carpets etc also nylons are used for making filaments for ropes bristles for tooth brushes etc <coughs> the next uh, uh, polymer is epoxy resin epoxy resins are thermosetting polymer now you know, know uh, what are the thermosetting polymers which can be uh, softened on heating and can be molded in desirable shape and structure and the most common uh, epoxy resin is bisphenol based epoxy resin and for this uh, bisphenol based epoxy resin we have bisphenol as one monomer and epochlorohydrin as the another uh, monomer this is the structure of bisphenol and this is the structure of epochlorohydrin when bisphenol is treated with epochlorohydrin 
it gives a polymer which is known as epoxy polymer or epoxy resin okay now since we are using two different different monomers so it is an example of which one copolymer it is a copolymer okay so properties it is a copolymer and it shows good chemical and heat resistance and if we see the uses of this epoxy resin they are used as adhesives and composite materials adhesives means you know this glue jo pasting ke kaam aate hai chipkane ke jo kaam aate hai and they are good electrical insulators now next polymer is phenol formaldehyde resin also called as pf resin there is two types of this resin one is novalac and another is the bakelite when we see uh, study the synthesis of this bakelite first novalac is formed and that novalac is converted into bakelite this resin is an example of condensation polymer the monomers for this pf resins are phenol this is the structure of phenol and formaldehyde this is the structure of formaldehyde so let's see the preparation of this uh, pf resin that is phenol formaldehyde resin the first step involves the reaction between phenol and formaldehyde they are used in 1 is to 1 ratio let's do it this is 1 is to 1 ratio phenol and formaldehyde are used in 1 is to 1 ratio and they react in presence of a catalyst that catalyst can be acid or that catalyst can be a base when phenol is treated with formaldehyde in 1 to 1 ratio then we obtain mono substituted phenol that is ortho hydroxy methyl phenol is the ortho position this is meta position this is para position and we obtain para hydroxy methyl phenol and if we use excess of this formaldehyde then we obtain a di and tri substituted phenol you can see here this is our phenol this is formaldehyde if we used 1 to 2 ratio that is one equivalent of or one mole of phenol and two moles of formaldehyde we obtain di substituted products and if we used 1 to 3 ratio we obtain a tri sub tri substituted phenol now this mono substituted phenols combines to form a linear polymer which is known as novalac you can see here several molecules of this phenol which is mono substituted they combine to form a linear polymer which is called as novalac and since there is a elimination of water that's why it is known as condensation polymer and the process is known as condensation polymerization now step 2 step 2 involve the formation of bakelite from novalac okay in this case the novalac is molded into bakelite using hexamethylene tetraamine this is a base this is the structure of this hexamethylene tetraamine and this is the formula of hexamethylene tetraamine so what happen here this hexamethylene tetraamine it first react with water and produced formaldehyde okay in the reaction it is produced in c2 i am showing uh, in the separate reaction just to let you know because if, then you will be confused from where this ch2 is coming so this ch2 is coming from formaldehyde this formaldehyde which is producing within the reaction when this snow like is molded in bakelite using hexamethylene tetraamine so when this novalac is treated in presence of hexamethylene tetraamine it forms a cross linked polymer which is known as bakelite okay this ch2 is coming from this formaldehyde which is producing yeah it is which is generated in the reaction now properties of bakelite now due to cross linking it is insoluble in almost all organic solvents it is scratched resistant and water resistant use bakelite is widely used in electrical radio tv and automobile parts used in manufacture of varnishes paints and protective coating bakelite is used for making electrical insulators like switches plugs switchboards heater handles etc
Next polymer that we have to study is urea formaldehyde resin, also called UF resin. It is also an example of condensation polymerization. Okay, and the monomers for this is urea. This is the urea, structure of urea and formaldehyde. When urea is treated with formaldehyde in presence of acid, first it forms this type of compound which is known as monomethylol urea. This monomethylol urea on further treatment with formaldehyde gives dimethylol urea. And this dimethylol urea then acts as a monomer for this urea formaldehyde resin. A number of molecules of this dimethylol urea combine or condensed in presence of acid to form this urea formaldehyde resin. It is also a cross-linked polymer and there is a evaluation of water. So again condensation polymerization condensation polymer product uh, properties this urea formaldehyde resins they have good chemical resistance they have good abrasion resistant they are good abrasion resistant and stable to light they are used as adhesives in the plywood industry and furniture used in the manufacture of buttons bottles caps surgical items etc The next one is PEN, that is polyacrylonitrile. पहले भी इसके बारे में बात की हमने मैंने इसको पहले आपके उसके बारे में बताया है मोनोमर फॉर पेन इज एक्लोनाइट्राइल यू नो दिस इज एक्लोनाइट्राइल एंड द पोलिमराइजेशन इज फिडेडिकल पोलिमराइजेशन ऑल्सो दिस पेन कैन ऑल्सो बी ऑप्टेन्ड यूजिंग एन आइनिक पोलिमराइजेशन ओके वैन एन नंबर ऑफ मोलिक्यूल्स ऑफ दिस एक्लोनाइट्राइल आर पोलिमराइज they form pen okay this pen is soluble in polar solvents it has high tensile strength and low density used in fibers used as a fiber in hot gas filtration system used to produce ultra filtration membranes fibers for reverse osmosis fibers for textiles we have also studied the rubber i think uh, we can continue here a little bit further uh, for the rubber in the rubber we have synthetic rubber and natural rubber synthetic rubber means which can be made or prepared in the lab natural rubber means which we obtain from the nature so in the synthetic rubber we have to study this styrene butadiene rubber also called sbr or bunais and second is neoprene or chloroprene in this natural rubber is actually this is a cis form of polyisoprene so now one by one we will study all of these starting with this synthetic rubber that is bunais bunais is a copolymer of styrene and butadiene that means styrene and butadiene these are the monomers for this bunais that's why its name is styrene butadiene rubber okay it is a random copolymer and found by the emulsion polymerization of a mixture of butadiene and styrene in 1 to 3 ratio in presence of a peroxide catalyst at 5 degree temperature since the reaction is carried out 5 degree temperature so this polymer is also known as or this rubber is also known as cold rubber if you see the synthesis of this bunais the n number molecules of this butadiene and x number molecule of this styrene why here n or x because they are used in 1 is to 3 ratio one mole of butadiene will react with three mole of styrene so i am writing different different terms n and x and when they are treated in presence of this peroxide at 5 degree centigrade temperature they gives this type of linear polymer which is called as bunais you can see this is the structure of random bunais there is no particular proper arrangement or you can say uh, uh, addition of this monomers okay uses of this bunais is it is used for the manufacture of passenger car tires motor cycle and scooter tires cycle tires and tubes also used for the manufacture of belts footwear shoes bag shoe soles etc okay the second uh, synthetic rubber is 
neoprene or polychloroprene and the monomer for this is the chloroprene if you see uh, butadiene in butadiene we have ch2 ch ch ch2 here one hydrogen of this uh, butadiene is replaced by cl that's why it is chloroprene okay and reaction proceed by free radical polymerization and number of molecules of this new uh, chloroprene polymerizes to form neoprene and the properties and uses of this uh, neoprene is used as a base resin in adhesives electrical insulations and coatings it is water resistant and exhibit good chemical stability now if you talk about the natural rubber this is cis polyisoprene and the monomer for this is isoprene if you see again it is also in derivative of butadiene hydrogen is replaced by methyl group when n number molecules of this isoprene are polymerized they form polyisoprene now they can form cis polyisoprene they can form trans polyisoprene and this is one for addition now this cis form of cis form of this polyisoprene is known as natural rubber whereas the trans form of this polyisoprene is known as gutta percha okay now rest of the thing we will study in the next video okay till then keep on watching the videos okay and keep on doing your study